as they prefer streaking to turn count. No joke points, streaking easier. Yeah, I guess it probably is just easier. I mean, that's that's probably fair. Because turn count, you just have to think about turns, like every single freaking turn, and that you you kind of stop doing that at some point in a streak run after some levels. Whereas a turn count, you have to keep doing that forever. So I, I could, and I <laughs> kind of point out by the fact that I actually made some progress with the streak and not really anything with the turn count. Yeah, I mean, um, doing Chivos in video game is kind of like it. Some people love it, some people just, they doesn't matter what it is, they just want it to be like, I'm just going to play well or, you know, I have fun and that kind of thing. And so it's, it's understandable. It's not for everyone. Oh yeah, there is that aspect too of turn count of like, you, you want to go for a score, you have to do... Do I still don't have remove curse, so this is not safe to put this on. Okay, now it is safe to put it on. Not dang. myself how the spell works now. Knocking them back. Damage is done. These things do hit kind of hard. I can easily briars here. I guess I'll go ahead and do it. Why not? Um, I don't think it would be that dangerous, but... Oh, what is the range of this spell? I have to read it this way. Wow. That range is uh, pretty small. There we go. It's probably overkill, but that's fine. What's up, Yogi the Monk? Yep, it's Turney. Now you said, Yogi, that uh, you were thinking about playing some DCSS. Wall of Briars, it is. Blasted him. Look at that. Fighting skill is now at level 6. If I get Dazzling Flash, this guy, what is the um, range? 2 3. I'll try it. Oh, didn't really matter too much, I think. Oh, hey, I know this fault. Really? You're keeping ants as a as a sacrifice to trog? I'm not Okay. You know what? It's your religion. I'll I'll let you deal with that the way that you feel is appropriate, but just kinda question.
Yeah, it. I mean, all kinds of speed runs, challenge runs have that. I feel like even streaking does have like the stuff that you have to do to be just as safe as possible. Is like some of it is pretty silly, but yeah, obviously it's uh probably turn count is just the most degenerate, much more so that I guess than real time. Not that I know anything about real time, but I have done turn count and you do some pretty silly stuff for there. Like, just searching for stairs, and... I mean, you can criticize what the game plays like as well. It, it Some aspects of it are cool, but, like, in terms of it being challenging, but some of it's just really RNG-based. So it's, like, hard to get to, uh... It's, uh, something that's, uh... You just have to enjoy it. St streaking is definitely truer to like the way the game is actually designed, as far among all those sort of challenge run things. It's not designed to be a real time game. It's it's not designed to be a game where you like maximize score. The score is sort of uh, just there as like a secondary thing that people can go for if they want. Yeah, I mean, it's pretty much, uh, you could argue that anything that a streaker has to do that's bad gameplay is just a, a flaw of the game. I mean, you could argue that about turn count too, in the sense that, well, score is there, so why are you encouraging this? Maybe you need a better score system that doesn't encourage any of that. That's a valid criticism. And that's something we've thought about. Yeah, I think the score that we do have probably should be rethought. A lot of uh, roguelikes that are more modern have like a hybrid scoring that kind of like how our tournament works. It values multiple things, but of course that making something that people are happy with that is actually uh, it's it's it, when you make mo score more complicated, it it uh, it introduces a new pitfall. What's nice about our current system is it's very straightforward to understand if you are going for score. Orbo sharp, oh my goodness. Something you do a lot in turn count. Yeah, there's some interesting score hybrid score systems. I've never really sat down and thought, oh, these are really good. Um, but I know Cogmine has a hybrid system that some people have used and it does, it considers turns, but it also considers special events in that game, whether you've done them, they're like challenging, you could, they're not really, I guess you could think of them as quests in a way. They sort of are quest goals among other things. Um, but yeah, it's, it's not a trivial problem. If somebody did sit down and rethink scoring, uh, and they put a thought into it, I think it would be a welcome change potentially, but they'd probably have to talk with the people like, you know, who are doing a lot of that to sort of get a feel for people. I think that people who do turn count obviously do like turns as a scoring mechanism. I'm not sure how they would feel, but there's also the argument that maybe if we don't just exclusively consider uh, those people and consider what other people might like, we might get more people going for score, potentially. And yeah, you do, I'm sure you do bread swinging less than back in the day, but um, you also kind of like, well, I don't know, is ter well, I'm thinking real time. Real time is opened up, real time is actually better, isn't it, Leaky? It's like you can worship more different kinds of gods now, whereas turn count is still pretty dominated by Che, so far as I understand. Like, you can get a good score with a bunch of different gods, including Behemoth and and probably any god. You can get a score that's, like, within two-thirds of the, you know, that's only, like, 33% more. Some reasonable amount, but for many gods, but, oh boy, that's, uh, that's a lot of bees. Not sure about my retreat strategy here, but we're gonna go with this. Is 
because I destroyed them pretty easily. I was going to use um, briars if that didn't go through, but that wasn't the most intelligent uh, little strat that I pulled there. Yeah, Liptic wasn't super excited about aught scoring when I talked to him about it recently. He's like, well, is that really something that anybody actually cares about. The reason for switching to aught based scoring was uh, that it removes this like dependence on turns which are which ends up encouraging things like bread swinging and other potential weirdness like move speed uh, and regen sort of exploits and stuff. Uh, there's probably some exploits that would come if you did switch to aught to, to aught, but it wouldn't really change the... that's sort of like a tweak. It's not really a rethink of the scoring system. Yeah, Chase, too good. Yeah, 30k is, is definitely a pretty impressive uh, speed run. At least it impresses me. Oh boy. Animate Sklotten. My winning soon. Define soon. <laughs> soon for me is not very soon. Summon small mammal. Nope is a chafe fan. He's not afraid to admit that. Soon as in this year. Developer manages to beat his own game in less than a year. It's almost an onion headline. Not really my own game either, but you know. Waiting to see boulder beetles. So we're down to 21% for Ballista, that's pretty good. Just the runes or so. Yeah, just win it. Nothing. No big plan. Um, I want to win it. I would like to win it on stream. I'm not even like putting them choice, like actually getting the first eight wins as like a super high priority. I mean, I would like to, but uh, you've got a pull arm, don't you? Oh, I've got overgrowth. Over. What do we call it? Grow. Overgrow. Whether you win or not will depend on how good you gear can. <laughs> I, I disagree. That's the. Of the, all the statements that you've said thus far, that's the only one I vehemently disagree with. Whether I win or not now is based on whether I screw up 100% pretty much. I mean, something horrific could happen, but basically, if I lose at this point, it's because I screwed up real bad, which is entirely, to be fair, is, is possible. It's not that hard to screw up in this game, but. Especially since I haven't played Crawl in quite a while. I'm not sure how.
Did Elliptic do the tourney code? Um, he worked on a lot of the older code. <laughs> Let's say it's he got... Yeah, that's... Okay, that's... You're back on track now. Comparing me to Zermako is probably pretty appropriate. It feels like that. If you don't play this game for six months and you, like, were good at it, you feel really stupid when you come back to play it. And you're just like, yeah, I don't even know if I can do this. And then after, like, you know, a couple hours, you're like, okay, yeah, no, I, I'm, I'm probably fine. But you feel... It's funny how disoriented you feel. Uh, so he did the... He didn't, like, re write all of it. He, he did write some portions of it that are significant. I'm not actually sure how much of it he wrote, but he also came up with a lot of rules changes. So he, he was pretty integral to the prior tournaments. Um, even if I'm not sure how much of the original code he wrote, but I think he did write a sizable portion of it. You're out after a week. Um, but for the new code, it was basically e bearing uh, one of our, actually our, still our newest dev, and um, and uh, Checkers, the, AKA Alex, um, the Australian server dev. Uh, e bearing basically like drafted a new rule set for the tournament and then wrote the back end code. Uh, and then Alex did most of the front end stuff and uh, Advil chipped in. I did a very little bit, just fixing bugs and adding a couple small things. Um, and I ran the last, you know, I continued to run the scripts and do setup and the server setup and actually keep stuff running and checking on it and stuff. But yeah, it's mostly eBearing who did the recent stuff. eBearing, uh, Elliptic did contribute to discussions though about the rules changes and some of the people in chat here also did. I think it's pretty successful as a format. It's, uh, it, it had a few like, you know, bugs, but overall I think it went pretty well. People are pretty happy with it. Do I want Evo right now? Do I just want to train some more conj or some dodging? I'll go ahead and get just like three levels of Evo because it's really cheap. Is that a yak I see? I'm not sure if I'm mentally prepared to deal with yaks. Yeah, I recently experienced that with, um, yeah, there was one that had a disto weapon. I'm glad I didn't let that one hit me, I guess. Uh, with Infra Arcana, I went back to try to play that game. And it had been a long time since I played that game. I wonder what Mystic Blast scales up to. Uh, yeah, it is actually. It's pretty active develop development. Um, it's a really, really good game. Karaoke stream when playing a lot of tome. Yeah, Yogi, who was just in here, um, has been had the last roguelike I saw him play was tome. He went for um, like an insane. No, oh, there he is. You summoned him. Yeah, he did. Yogi, did you ever finish that? You were going on like insane difficulty or something. I'm not sure if you ever finished that or not. I don't. I sort of understand Tone, but I've only learned about Tone by watching Yogi stream it, which, check him out by the way, because he does stream a bunch of roguelikes, uh, including DCSS sometimes. I'd like to check my statement, it's really unfair. You can beat it without good give, you just focus. Focus on gonna... Oh, I didn't, I wasn't offended or anything, I just thought, I was, it was funny how you said, um, it's gonna come down to whether you get gear, and I'm like, uh eh gonna come down to whether or not I suck something terrible always happens yeah the deaths in tome are pretty they're just like the characters like 
it, from what I can glean, the characters like got all this unkillable, insanely powerful stuff, and then just suddenly it's all over. And like uh, every time it happens, I've like got the stream on, and it's been streaming for like five hours, and then I'm just hearing the background, and I hear Yogi go, uh! and then like I'll look over and and he's dead, and I'm like, what the. <laughs> It's like, what happened? It was kind of like that with the Dom, and that can happen in DCSS too, to be fair. But I feel like in Tome, it especially happens. Where just, you're just rolling through everything. It's also, I guess it's fair that it is a lot longer game, but from what I understand of Tome, it's like the balance in that game is... They have a very different relationship with game balance than what DCSS does. by far in standard settings. Yeah, to or NetHack is incredibly esoteric. Okay, here we got to be a little bit careful. We could die. Yep, that's what I was worried about. Um, we're going to Briar. Do I have Cancel? Okay, so that worked out pretty well. Uh, we just want to keep this stuff. Oh, the wall of briars again, and we're gonna actually. Oh, I know what I'm gonna do. I'm finally gonna use Mystic Blast on you. Oh, really? Wait. Oh, I don't want to test this. This, I bet this this Fedas Penance warning is wrong, and that Fedas will block it. But if I am wrong, I could die, potentially. Well, okay. I'm not going to do that just out of, of, out of an abundance of caution. I don't think that is accurate. 30 Fedos player. You're a dev, you should know. I have fixed so many god conduct bugs in this game, it's really not funny. I can fix that bug. It shouldn't be... I don't I don't see a reason why you would ever legitimately get penna, penance for that. Oof. Um... This guy out this way. Just. Oh, crap. Uh, okay. Let's, uh, Wall of Briars. Bet you I can just sit here. Okay. I was a little bit wrong about that, it turns out. Oh. Um. Oh my god. Okay. Well, I, I did. That was like, I don't know what my logic was for growing the briars the way it did, but either way it worked out. I, I knew I could just sit there and it would kill itself on those briars, but I apparently did not understand how to actually place them so that it would do that. Thankfully, it decided to do it anyway. You have a song request for channel gold option. Do you mind if put it on copyright stuff for you stream silence? Um, my I have some rules for that. I prefer like instrumental stuff that um, doesn't do that. I actually make uh, recordings and put them on YouTube, so it's okay. But I my rules are sort of like video game related stuff, pre preferably instrumental, not vocals. Um, so if it at least falls into that, I would say yes. But if it also isn't either of those, meet both of those, I would say please uh, choose something else. 
generally don't do like pop music or anything really popular that would be outside of the that god smack song which piety surprise costs it felt cheap and very powerful yeah it is not it does not cost all that much piety i see people not using it very much to be honest yeah hipster music only please if i've heard of it i'm not i don't want to i don't want to play it on my stream Maybe I, did I get that wrong? If you've heard of it, I don't want to play it in my stream. It's like a reverse hip, a reverse hipster, an anti-hipster. Um, well, he can still just like shoot me. I'm not sure that Briars actually has a. Okay, that hurt a little bit. watch it here. I don't actually have... He can shoot stone arrow. What is his range on stone arrow? Yeah, it's four. The wall of briars, and then can kind of back off. I can fulminant prism this guy, potentially. I can let him hit him. Oh, I could have. Oh, no, I can't. Uh, I can't ballista him. He's one that is resistant to that. You can see I did drop down to three stars, though, so it is costing me to use this. Just what I think Searing Ray is. One, two, three, yeah. So if I can hit him with Searing Ray, he can hit me with Stone Arrow. And Stone Arrow does a lot of damage. The other hand, is this thing damaged at all? Oh. Nice. Got. It. That was a good strat. Just keep him at bay with the briars, and then hex wand him down. Is really good against the basilisk because I he it will block hexes it's not like a... I actually don't know fully the rules for that now that I think about it does this guy have Been using Searing Ray the oh usual to find one of those on D10. Got some hexes of my own, I guess. Apparently I picked up a giant club. Maybe I was hoping to mutate into an ogre or something. 